for the calculation part of question eight, I've sketched out my sort of um, thought processes for this one. So you can see this isn't the exam paper. So if you've got the paper in front of you, you can sort of follow the question and see if you can match it with my diagrams. So I'll just go through the um, pictures here. Two and a half grams of hydrated nickel two salt. That's dissolved in acid, excess acid. That's going to free up the nickel two ions as aqueous nickel two plus. That's dissolved in excess DMGH. They then add excess ammonia and they heat it. And we get this red precipitate, this red solid produced NIDMG twice. That's then washed and dried and we're told that we've got um, a certain mass, 2.57 grams of NIDMG twice. And we were told that its MR was 288.7. So if you're panicking at this point in the exam, just be thinking, well, I could calculate the MR, sorry, the, the moles of that, because I've got the mass and the MR. And that is actually something you're going to need to do anyway. We were also told to assume that all of the nickel 2 plus ions are converted to NIDMG twice. And so the moles of nickel DMG twice in here are actually the same as the moles of the hydrated nickel 2 salt. So let's go through the calculation then. The moles of NIDMG twice are going to be the mass over the MR, so that's 8.9 times 10 to the minus 3. And therefore, the moles of hydrated nickel 2 salt will be the same, 8.9 times 10 to the minus 3. We know that the mass of nickel 2, hydrated nickel 2 salt, was 2.5 grams. So we could work out the MR of that. And again, so that's mass over moles. That's going to give us the MR. And we get 280.8 grams per mole. So straight away, we've scored two marks just from the information they've given us in the question. And then it goes on and says in step four, a second two and a half gram sample of hydrated nickel two salt is heated to remove the water of crystallization 1.38 grams of anhydrous salt remains. Because they are using the same mass of the hydrated nickel 2 salt, all of this calculation here is going to be relevant. So we're going to use these moles and so on in step 4. So where can we go with this? Well, we know that the hydrated nickel 2 salt, mass of 2.5 grams, so if we've got 1.38 grams of nickel 2 salt remaining, that's supposed to be a Roman 2 there, sorry, it looks like a hashtag. And therefore the, the mass of water that's been removed is obviously the difference. Um, so 1.38 taken away from 2.5 gives you that 1.12 grams. So where, where can we go with that? Well, we know the 8.9 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of this must make the same number of moles of, of this. The moles of water that's produced, well, that's going to be the mass of water over its MR, and we get 0 0.062. So if we ratio these, we get a 1 to 7 ratio. I think it comes out at something like 1.699 or something, which is safe to round up to 1.1 to 7 sorry so we now know that we've got a nickel 2 plus salt it's got a negative ion contained in it we don't know what that negative ion is yet it's the whole point of the question we've got to suggest a formula for this but we know that for every mole of nickel 2 plus we've got seven moles of water so just reminding myself there, the MR of the whole thing is 280.8. And now I'm going to subtract from that what I know about the formula. So I know there's one nickel in there, and I know that there are seven waters. So that comes out at, a, there's, there's a remainder of 96.1 grams for that negative ion. 
So now it's a sort of little bit of an educated guessing game to try and work out what, what it could be. So if you think about all the negative ions you know about, so I've come up with a, a couple of examples, so it's sort of trial and error really. So if it was chloride, it would have to have two of those. So that would give you a mass for the X, sort of the X2 minus part at 71. Well, that's not 96.1, so that's not right. It could be two nitrate ions. Well, that comes out at being too heavy at 124. So then you could come up and think about other negative ions. Could it be carbonate? No, that's the wrong mass. And then you get to sulfate, SO4, 2 minus. And sure enough, that has a mass of 96.1. So that is obviously the answer. And therefore, the hydrate, it's nickel 2 salt, has a formula NiSO4.7H2O. So I hope you could follow that. Not very nice question, but hopefully there are you'll spot there are there are doable marks within the question. So if you see mass and you've got MR, work out the moles and so on.